are we? So we're at Perth Airport. We're about to go to Bangkok. And then we're going to go to Japan. From Bangkok. That's right. Boredom, sleep-ins and mobile data. Instead of suffering a boring school holidays, we swapped all this nonsense for an interesting school holidays. That's exactly why eight teenagers flew to Tokyo to try and experience some Japanese culture for the first time, along with its food, vending machines and music. Before our arrival in Japan, we had to endure seven hours at Bangkok Airport, which is difficult when the airport has poor air conditioning. If you want cold air, find one of these. Expensive food, a severe lack of ceilings, and apparently no one who knows how to use a computer. But this is no trip to Bangkok Airport. This is a Japanese cultural experience. So let's get ourselves to Tokyo. guys a tour around the youth hostel this is our room here that's Stefan Dominic this is where the girls are staying why is there only three beds in your room yeah I uh, two two oh okay so that's one of the girls rooms this is the other girls room the men's toilet and boom electric toilet yeah so that's that's pretty much it The agenda for the rest of day two was three things. Firstly, visit the Edo Tokyo Museum, which apart from looking like a giant space invader, covers the entire history of Tokyo, including when it used to be called Edo. After a quick lunch break, it was off to Akihabara. Akihabara is very well known for two things, electronics and pop culture. This was a great place to spend some of our hours looking at all the things. Everything was way too expensive to buy. When I let go, when I found love. So we're here at a at a, some sort of Asian restaurant. So this is a fried chicken, and that's my ramen. <laughs> okay, so we just woke up. And where are we going today? Disneyland. Yay. But first, we needed to have breakfast. And for this trip to earn the title of being a Japanese cultural experience, we had to find the most Japanese breakfast there is. 7-Eleven. Every morning we stocked up on as much junk we could find in 7-Eleven to have for breakfast. This meant chocolate milk and cake every morning for me. Only then were we able to go to Disneyland. We finally made it. From the train to Disneyland, and I am so excited. Zach is excited too. Yeah. What's happening? We're waiting for... We're gonna have dinner. Yeah. And then it was dark and the infamous parade happened. It was just lots of Disney characters driving past with nice lighting. And then fireworks happened. Right, day four. Now stupid me forgot to bring his camera that day. So we're unfortunately going to have to put up with Javen's filming. So I hope it's not too bad. It's a beautiful day. We're going to see some temples. These better be good. <laughs> mm. 
Next, we did some shopping at Ta Takashita Street. While we were there, we did some shopping and we did even more shopping at Nakami Street. We also visited Sensoji Temple on that same street, but we weren't really there for the temple. We just came across this air conditioner here and it is so good at keeping us cool. Five days in and it was time for us to leave Tokyo. We just got out of the subway and where are we going? Oh, to Nikko. We're going to Nikko. We retreated to a place called Nikko, which is pretty much Kalamunda or Carmel for Japanese people. Well, there's lots of trees and hills and history. It feels like a country town and lacks the crowds of Tokyo. Looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to squish in. I don't think we're all gonna fit. I don't think it's happening. The bus took us to a very nice bridge called Shinkyo Bridge. It was nice. Then we climbed up a series of hills and steps where we visited various temples and shrines. We pretty much kept sightseeing, had lunch. This is our lunch meal and it is really, really good. Mm. Back to the bridge, the temple, the bridge, until we arrived at our hotel for the night. So this hotel was a bit different to your average western hotel, since this was a traditional Japanese inn, or Ryokun, and you'll soon discover what this means. So we're going to everybody get Big extra large. Okay. Let's open the door, guys. Yeah. Oh, I need the key. So when we got here, they all gave us one of these. We have to wear these to dinner. Oh, wow. Well, we have now arrived at dinner and wow, it looks amazing. I had no idea what any of it is, but we were all feeling very adventurous. So this is apparently sashimi, it's raw fish. Yeah, let's go. I just want nothing. Adventist teacher eats prawn. You laugh, but I have to sign a contract that says I won't do something like that. After the dinner and dessert, this is some of the best dessert I've ever had. We retreated back to our room and found that our futons had been made for the night. We slept, woke up, and it was time for our traditional Japanese breakfast. Our destination for the day was another theme park, called Edo Wonderland. This place explores the history of Japan, specifically in the 17th century, with a variety of attractions, food and shows. Where are we going now? The maze. Ooh, the the maze. ninja maze. Ninja maze. That says ninja maze. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have a competition. Whoever can finish the maze first gets to win. Alright, so we've given up on the whole competition thing and we're all just working together. Uh, we are in the comedy theatre, we're about to watch some funny jokes, I think. Hopefully. Mark, you don't know. There's like a translator translating their jokes or something. <laughs> I don't know why they're clapping. Some other attractions we visited included the Ninja House, where the whole room is skewed on an angle so gravity doesn't work properly. And the smaller ones could do whatever this is. Okay. Where are we going today? To the school. And we're in our school uniform because going to school must be in school uniform. That's right, today we're visiting Tokyo Saniku Adventist Elementary School or Primary School. Long dream, yeah, welcome. The very kind principal welcomed us and we were given front row seats at the school assembly. Thank you for coming. 
We ended up shadowing the English teacher and went around to all the classes she taught. We won. But after that, we got to have lunch with some of the students. I sat with a couple of kids who were still learning English and they tried really hard to translate one question that they wanted me to answer. Anyways, after 15 minutes of asking all their friends to try to translate, they eventually found someone that could. Do I have a girlfriend? My answer was certainly not worth all the effort they went to translating that. But then it was unfortunately time to leave. Oh no, this. Day 8 was a Sabbath day, and I'm sure you can all guess what we did. We've arrived at the Seventh day Adventist church in Tokyo. <laughs> After church, one of the members was kind enough to invite us back to their house and spoil us with the most epic lunch ever. This looks really good. They just kept bringing out more food for us. They even took us out to go on a Ferris wheel. Okay, Suzanne, it's your yes. first time on a Ferris wheel. Yes, How do you feel? A bit excited, yeah. And we've stopped at the top of the escalator. Yeah. And there's like an emergency announcement going through the speakers, but we can't understand it because we don't speak Japanese. And we're all freaking out. <laughs> but after a great night, it was time to say sayonara to our host family for the day. Absolute legends. Day nine was our last day and we had three main objectives. Okay, Javen, we have come here with one task. What's that oh, task? To, the to find painkillers for Zach. Hello, Javen. <laughs> and Sprite. to find some Asian Sprite. Oh, Sprite. Asian Sprite. Uh, guys, it's 85 yen. It's so cheap. <laughs> <That's> like, <scary. laughs> Our second objective was to visit the super huge famous intersection in Shibuya. Yep, I almost got lost while crossing it. And finally, our third and final objective of the trip. And pretty much the reason why I wanted to go on this trip in the first place. Going to a happy pancake. Are you happy, Stefan? I am. Thank you. I'm very happy. Now these pancakes are like world famous and they look so good. So are they worth the hype? Yes, they were. One of the best things I've eaten all my life. A great way to end a great trip to Japan. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed watching this and would like to go to Japan, well, good luck because COVID exists.